There's no smoking in this building, Mrs. Brady. What are you gonna do, Peter? Charge me with smoking? Would you tell us the nature of your relationship with Sam the Butcher? I had sex with him for about a year and a half. I liked having sex with him. He gave me a lot of pleasure. And a 30% discount on rump roast. Did you ever engage in any sadomasochistic activity? Exactly what did you have in mind, Peter? Did you ever tie him up? No. Sometimes we would weigh the broth worst when it came in, but it never got heavy. Do you drink coffee, Mrs. Brady? All the time. Did you ever have coffee with Sam the Butcher? Sure. What kind of coffee? Colombian. Have you ever f on caffeine, Greg? <laughs> you like playing games, don't you? I'm a Brady. It goes with the turf. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Carol Brady, did you order the code red? You don't have to answer the question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! Greg, you can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a house that has one bathroom, and that bathroom has to be clean. Who's going to do that? You? You, Peter? You, Cindy? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That Marcia's grounding, while tragic, was necessary because she did not fulfill her cleaning duties. You don't want the truth, because deep down in places you don't like to talk about at birthday parties and scout meetings, you want me in that bathroom. You need me in that bathroom. We moms use words like scrub, polish, shine. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent cleaning something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a kid who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very bunk bed that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. I would rather that you just said thank you and went on your way. Did you order Marsha's grounding? You snotty little bastard. Did you order Marsha's grounding? You got right I did. Now you go to your room. So, you were in the Secret Service. What made you get out? That money. Yeah. I can see your tastes are extravagant. <laughs> May I? Yeah, be careful. very hard for you, Greg Brady. Being the oldest one, you must get very little peace. 